It's 6 a.m. in the morning and my next challenge is I'm going to attempt to run from Rugby, the middle of England, to the west side and run an ultra marathon with a 10 kilogram backpack, challenging my mind, challenging my body and seeing what's possible. Let's go. I've been running now for not even 20 minutes, not even three or just over three kilometers. I'm not feeling it, man. The backpack is just changes everything. It makes me lean back. It makes every time my legs hit the ground more impact or it creates more impact. It's not gone the way I've planned, but I'm just going to put one foot in front of the other. If I'm going to attempt to do this, there's a long, long way to go. I'm just going to consider this a challenge and just silence the noise, quiet my mind. Well, I've hit the country roads now. I've left the town of Rugby. Next town is Coventry. So I'm just going to get my head down, keep my pace nice and easy and try and run now that I've done a lot of walking to get myself started and in the zone I'm gonna try and just run slowly until I get to Coventry and then have a food and water break uh, feeling the bag feeling my shoulders but feeling good almost slipped on some ice but now I'm walking up a steep hill literally on my own i've been on my own for the last 15 minutes just absolute beauty and silence i'm absolutely loving this challenge i'm even loving the negative chatter coming up in my mind this is why i do these things you know because i'm not perfect and you know, i've not nailed life yet so i love putting myself in these positions where I feel uncomfortable and I start bringing out the worst to me. Oh, you can't do this. You're not good enough. Why are you trying to do this? You're stupid. What are you trying to prove? And then I do the work and I go to work on myself and I start coaching myself. And then I turn it around, baby. Coventry Sports Centre. I guess that must mean I'm in Coventry. Oh, such a long way to go. Crossing over the highway on my way to Birmingham. On top of the world, baby. On top of the world. Halfway, baby! About 27 kilometers, 16 miles. I got this in the bag. I got this in the bag. From now, it's just mindset, baby. My forte. This is where I'm really having to run right now. Next door highway. Uh, gotta do what you gotta do. Ooh, I'm flying now. Feeling damn good, man. 10 miles left, 16 kilometers. Damn, I feel good. Pushing through the pain. Pain is my power. Struggle is my strength. Pain is my power. Struggle is my strength. 
I just twisted my ankle. Just running here on the side of the damn highway. It's just, you're just looking everywhere where you stay every second. It's so much harder. Seeing pain or experiencing pain, I mean, going in my head and just for a few minutes focusing on making it disappear. A lot of the time it's just, it's more the shock, the pain, and then we put all our focus on it. And that's what makes it worse. If you focus on your knee, you're gonna feel your knee. If you focus on your elbow while your knee hurts, your knee will get less sore. It's just how it is. Whatever you focus on gets bigger. So yeah, it's almost gone already. Almost gone. All right, let's go. Uh, that's all right. Not long to go anyway. Yeah, buddy. Where is it? Yeah. Birmingham Airport. I made it to Birmingham. Whoop, whoop. Now I just gotta run to the city center. Easy peasy. Right, I'm now officially in Birmingham, in the city. I've done over a marathon, 43 kilometers. Right, not looking good. Well, I'm fine, I'm gonna make it. I've just done. Oh, I've got four miles to go. My back is, something is wrong in my back. Just the weight of carrying this bag for six hours or five hours and 20 minutes. Uh, got four miles left. I'm just in so much pain, I can't run. This is the hardest part. And unfortunately, this is where most people stop, or before, and the, the pain gets unbearable. But we can always do more than we think, if we're just willing to dig a little deeper. Take deep breaths, focus, around with my hand here because it's my back is just burning so much I'll see you at the finish line It's so easy to be inspired right here. It's what you go do then every day that makes the big shifts in your life. So I use this example of we all live in a house. Right? We are born into this house and we want this house to be perfect, right? And hopefully if I do more work on myself, my house will be perfect and beautiful. That's not the reality. Have you ever lived in a house where nothing goes wrong? No, stuff goes wrong. But if, if you see someone that owns a house and they know everything that can go wrong in the house, they're aware of that. And number two, they have the tools to deal with that. Do they ever get worried? No, they just deal with it. 